Robert Howard, Brisbane resident. Um, I've, uh, over a period of the past few years, I've periodically looked at the documents produced by Thomas Reed Associates. Now, where I went to university, which happens to be one of the, um, considered one of the top 150 universities worldwide, uh, had some of the great biologists of, of the day, and still has some, their documents would have been rejected as basic uh, essays in biology for a bachelor's student. The quality of the work is, very, is pitifully poor, and I don't know how the U.S. Fish and Wild Service, Wildlife Service could accept those documents. The basic techniques for measuring the quantity of the butterflies is done very poorly. Uh, simple things like me weather measurements are done incorrectly. They don't measure, according to the documents, they didn't measure uh, weather conditions on site. Uh, they took measurements, I believe it was from uh, the weather station over uh, the airport, which is totally different climatic conditions. So the wind measurements weren't even done there. So they really don't know what effect uh, there is on flying to do with wind. Uh, the other thing, I tried searching to find out if there had been any studies on phototropism in the Calipes. I have not been able to find any studies on that. The reason that's important is because of street lighting and house lighting. When I uh, moved into Calipay Court, there was no housing at Landmark. We used to get butterflies coming down the hill to where we, were, where we live. We had outside lights. We have outside lights at uh, on Calipay Court that were on 24 hours a day. And in those lights, you'd find dead butterflies. Um, so there's other issues as well. You're going to have uh, heaters in the houses, your central heating, which will uh, put out uh, various nitrous oxides, which will change the uh, uh, We'll act as a fertilizer and change the plants that are growing on the hillside there. We've also had uh, things like ice plant escaping from people's potted plants and that are growing. Unfortunately, I forgot to take photos, but you're going to introduce more invasives as you get closer up there because you're building so much closer to where the butterfly habitat is. Okay. Um, kind of tired, so I'm not going to continue on. Okay. It's been a long day. Thanks, Robert.